Through its impressive 20 seasons, Pawn Stars has been one of the most watched shows on TV. And while a pawn shop might not sound like the most action-packed setting. I can't agree with your assessment. Oh, that, yeah. And that's, that's, we're just at where we are. It really has a unique blend of historical background with interesting human drama that just makes it endlessly watchable. But what really kept fans watching are the eclectic personalities that hang around world-famous gold and silver pawn shop, turning a possibly mundane environment into a hotbed of pawn shop life. Over the years, we've gotten pretty well acquainted with the main players, Richard Old Man Harrison, his son Rick Harrison, his son Corey Big Hoss, and Corey's childhood pal Austin Chumley Russell. We've gotten to see deep inside the psyches of these Vegas movers and shakers. From the generational conflict between Corey and his elders, to the constant mishaps of the fan favorite Chumley. But while their personalities have been well documented, there is one part of their lives that's been, in large part, glossed over. Their better halves, if you will, the Pawn Star Wives. And as it turns out, the history of these guys' entanglements is rife with secrets and some of them dark. So what's really going on behind the scenes at Pawn Stars? Today we are digging into some disappearing babies, boob jobs, drug busts, and much more. Before we dive in, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. So switch on the tube and let's go find out. Rick Harrison While Rick has seen his fair share of prized objects in his day, there is one treasure he's never been able to get his hands on. True love. Ever since he was a young troublemaker, Rick's romantic life has been a long series of troubles. If you're looking for trouble, you came to the right place. His first try at love came at the age of 17. Rick was a high school dropout, hustling fake Gucci bags. His family pleaded with him to get his act together, but Rick had already learned how well it can pay to make a living outside the confines of polite society. The guy was pulling in a whopping two grand a week, which would be a heck of a lot of money for a kid today, let alone back in 1980. So Rick had a good gig and a hot girlfriend. What more can a guy ask for? Remote control. The ashtray, the power game, and the remote control. That's all I need. It turns out there was one thing he was not asking for. One day, Rick's girlfriend gave him a phone call with stunning news. She was pregnant. Is it real? It looks real, but we need to take a closer look. Okay. To his credit, Rick did the honorable thing and planned to marry the gal, even after she miscarried. They went through with the wedding, and Rick had his first two children in this messy first marriage. But their pairing, birthed from adolescent crisis, couldn't survive the reality of adult life. So the couple divorced, and Rick eventually found another girl named Tracy. Now he had a second son, but this marriage also failed. Now let's fast forward a few decades to 2012, after Rick had made a name for himself on Pawn Stars. That year, he married his third wife, Deanna Burdett. At first, it seemed like a good match. The pair had natural chemistry, and they had both endured several failed marriages, as well as three children each. But while the couple looked very happy and carefree in their wedding pics, Deanna was dealing with an unimaginable burden. Her previous husband had been accused of horrific crimes, and Deanna was still processing that trauma. For a time, it seemed that Rick was the right man to help her through the darkness. But in 2020, the pair secretly divorced. Then for a time, it seemed that Rick was dabbling in the dating world once more. And in February of 2022, Rick shared a selfie with an apparent girlfriend. But the photo has been since deleted. And there's been no sign of the lucky lady alongside that pawn star. So Rick has not had the best luck in the romantic area, but hey, he's got a host of colorful kids to show for it. So for now, it seems he's enjoying the single life and spending lots of time with his family, celebrating as his daughter has also recently married and Rick was overjoyed. <laughs> Corey Big Hoss Harrison 
Much of the conflict on Pawn Stars comes from the vast difference between Big Hoss and his dad. Corey believes he knows better and clashes with dad and grandfather too, over management, inventory, and just about everything else. But in many ways, it's easy to forget how similar the younger Harrison is to his predecessors, especially regarding his love life, because just like dad, Big Hoss married his high school sweetheart, a girl named Charlene. Then, just like Dad, Big Hoss had a few great years before divorcing in 2015. Then, just like Dad, Big Hoss eventually married someone who could more easily accept his busy lifestyle. And in 2017, he married his executive assistant, Karina Kiki Harrison. Corey and Kiki made every effort to keep their marriage out of the media spotlight, no doubt wary of how easily a private marriage can crumble under public pressure. In 2018, Corey made an Instagram post with a huge announcement. The couple were having a baby. The pair did have a child together, but then things didn't work out, and the couple divorced that same year, 2018. Take care of the children. I, I want a divorce. You want a divorce, don't you? And this is when things get weird. A month later, their son was nowhere to be found. We don't actually know what happened. Corey never addressed that situation, and within a few years, he was on to the next one. In March of 2022, he posted pictures of a mystery woman that seemed to be his girlfriend, allegedly a gal named Tara Pasley. This wasn't the first appearance she'd made on his webpage. He'd featured a picture of her butt in 2020. It's unclear exactly what's going on with the crazy love life of Big Hoss. Baby or no baby, it appears he's staying true to his name, a stallion that cannot be paid. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> Austin Chumley Russell. Both Rick and Corey's love lives mimic the kind of guys they are. Rick is stubborn and old school, and Corey is similar, but with a modern twist. So that would say that Chum Lee, Corey's childhood friend and employee at the shop who sometimes screws up and is a fan favorite, would have a love life that mirrors that. The charismatic, bumbling fellow may not be what you would call conventionally attractive. Sounds like a train. But he's never had a problem attracting the ladies. Whether this is because he's on TV, because he has an impressive collection of expensive cars, or because his personality is just that good, well, you be the judge. The first Chumley-affiliated gal we have on record is Tanya Hijazi, who began dating him way back in 2013. While Chumley is a happy-go-lucky guy, he was very invested in this relationship, so much so that he paid for her boob job. But that relationship only lasted a few years. Our next contestant on Who the Hell Would Date This Guy is a photographer named Olivia, who began hooking up with him in 2016. This was a chaotic time in Chumley's life. That year, his home was raided due to allegations of sexual assault. During the search, police found weed, Xanax, meth, and a host of guns. While Chumley clearly likes to party, few could have guessed that his festivities were so intense. But it seems Olivia liked to party too because this did not deter her from seeking a future with him. Two years later, the pair was married. Well, in 2020, the couple had deleted all photos of each other from Instagram. So where is Chumley today? Rick, use the force. It'll help guide you to the right answer. Well, his dating prospects might have been affected by a big change in his life. In 2019, he received gastric sleeve surgery and lost a whopping 160 pounds. But we have not seen another sign of a woman in his life. Considering what we know about the guy, I doubt he's spending his time in church. Put my pants on two legs at a time. While Pawn Stars is endlessly entertaining, it does teach you a good lesson. The most everyday objects sometimes hold secrets you could not imagine. The same is true for the hosts. While they may look like everyday schmucks, the way they live is pretty different from the average Joe. Whether it be your run-of-the-mill failed marriage or a forgotten baby, these guys are apparently holding a lot underneath the table. I bet you have. But far be it from me to judge these guys. In fact, I think the real lesson to take from this is that everybody struggles in life, even the folks on your TV. So the next time you find yourself drowning in heartbreak, maybe turn on the tube. 
you might find some guys you have a lot in common with. All right, enough of me, now we wanna hear from you. Does the popularity of their show make it harder or easier for the Pawn Star guys to find love? Who is your personal favorite Pawn Star star? Get in the comments and tell me all things Pawn Stars. Who has watched every single season? I know somebody has. And before you go, hit that thumbs up icon to show support. Subscribe to our channel and come back often so we can keep telling you what happened. See you later, dork.